So in one of my more recent videos, I mentioned that the computer I'm using to control the Centroid Acorn is uh, it's a $150 computer. And many of you recently have been messaging me about what exact model I bought. And if you're here for that info, it is the B95 Mini PC Intel 12th Gen N95 Mini Desktop Computer. It's got Windows 11 Pro, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of uh, storage. It's an M.2 SSD. It supports 4K. It's got dual HDMI and Type-C USB, dual Wi-Fi 5, and Bluetooth 5.0. I will leave a link to this computer in the, uh, in the description of the video. And um, right now, in the making of this video, it's January 2025, it's selling for $159 USD, and that's with a 16% discount. I've had no issues with it whatsoever uh, in terms of controlling the Centroid Acorn. In terms of using this computer to run the Centroid Acorn, it, there's, you know, it leaves nothing to be desired. If I were to do it all over again, I would get it, and I do recommend this computer or something just like it. Basically, I just took a look at, if you go to Centroid's website, there is sort of a, like a minimum requirement for a PC section, and that is this here. So the multi-core PC CPU must have at least one single core, a minimum benchmark of 1500. This is the only thing I wasn't able to verify. Uh, I'm not much of a computer guy here, so forgive me as I sort of stumble my way through this. Many of you will know better than I do. Um, I know this computer has four cores. I don't know if one of those single cores has a minimum benchmark of 1500, but everything else, you know, solid state drive, minimum of four gigs of RAM and Windows 10 or 11. It has all of that. It's got a solid state drive. It's got 16 gigs of RAM and it comes with actually Windows 11 Pro, which is pretty sweet. What else here? Uh, an ethernet port. Yep, it's got an ethernet port. Uh, and 19 by 1080 LCD monitor. Okay, that's not included. You'll have to get that separate. And yeah, that's about it. So I'll also leave a link to this page, guys, because, you know, there's some discussions of affordable PCs on the Centroid forum. Feel free to go through that. You're running into all kinds of people much smarter than I am. And I'll tell you about what computer they're using. But this one has been just fine for me, and uh, it's really, really cheap. So one of the areas, though, where you can tell that it struggles is, like, if you're using... If you want to get a computer to do 3D design work as well as run the Centroid Acorn, okay, you can definitely find better options than this. Like, when I run SolidWorks, this is a somewhat big assembly, let's call it. And, you know, you don't have a feel for when I'm zooming in and zooming out, but there's a lot of lag here. There's also a lot of complex geometries, you know. These are real helical threads, which is real loady for SolidWorks or any really design software. We got all kinds of surfaces and features and things, mates that SolidWorks has to resolve. So it is quite chunky and glitchy and just sort of laggy. Like you can tell when I'm rotating this part, it's very kind of, you know, laggy. You're not getting all the frames. You're getting like a few frames per second. And it's just very laggy compared to something like the computer I use for design specifically in SolidWorks, which you can see is a lot more, the, the motion's a lot smoother. Okay. The resolution is higher because I've got a 4k resolution on this computer. Whereas on the CNC computer, the computer that runs the Centroid Acorn, this one here is just uh, 1080p, but just, you know, the way that the parts rotate and the way that SolidWorks feels on this design computer is much smoother. It's a lot better and more friendly to use, but that's really only in big assemblies. Like when you take a look over here, let's go to a part that I recently machined for a friend. So this is a center cap uh, for a, a, a car's rim and these should be threads. You don't see threads modeled there, but those are threads. And you can see it's a lot smoother, right? It's just one part. There's not a lot of complex geometry. There's no mates. And um, even from like a, a programming standpoint, you can absolutely do it on this computer. Like, you know, there's quite a bit of stuff here and you know, it, it, it runs just fine. Like let's go ahead and let's just recalculate all these tool paths. I'll let you get a feel for sort of how long it takes on this computer. Let's select all this. Let's regenerate all these tool paths. Yes, let's regenerate them. Then here you can see pending, 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 and then slowly they're going to start completing. And um, like, that's not too bad. As you saw, there's a lot of stuff going on there. There's some, there's quite a few 3D tool paths and you know, it's chugging along. Is it lightning fast? No. Um, would I prefer to use a faster computer for programming? Definitely. 
do I use this computer all the time in a pinch or just because it's convenient? It's in the same room as the mill and I can just sort of, you know, run back and forth if I need to make a tweak. I do it here. I walk over a few feet to the mill and it works really well. Uh, you know, I probably do more programming on this computer than any other programming because there's so much back and forth. You know, I may start it on another one, bring it into this computer and then just really spend a lot of time in programming in this computer as I tweak little things uh, as they sort of come off the machine. So, you know, long story short is uh, in terms of running the, the CNC control software, so in terms of running Centroid Acorn, it works just fine. Um, but if you want to do design work, yeah, I, I would recommend using something else. And I've got a really simple setup here, like the computer is behind this monitor, which I'll show you in just a second. I've got a crappy little, I think this is a $20 speaker um, that I got on Amazon as well, because the computer doesn't come with speakers, maybe that's important to you. Um, I didn't think I would care, but I do inevitably end up kind of hanging out in here a bunch, watching YouTube, or volume is pretty important actually. So if there's another computer that's the same, or cheaper, or whatever, and it comes with a microphone, or a speaker rather, or both, that's... Um, that's probably worth something because this one doesn't. But behind this monitor is where you can see I've got the computer tucked away here. You're probably gonna see a bunch of stuff fall, but I've just got sort of a kind of a cool wall mount stand. Yeah, I got a bunch of zip ties here. I'm about to rip everything off the wall. But this is the computer here. I mean, it's really nice because it's nice and compact. You can just mount it on the wall. You don't have to worry about it taking up any floor space. I love these little things. I've actually got a few of them around the house. Most better than this one, but uh, like behind our TV in the living room, I've got a SER7. I think it's a B-Link computer. It's a tiny little thing and it is sweet. Like it'll handle 10G. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. But this little thing is pretty sweet. Like we got the HDMI cable here. Okay, what have I got here? Here's the power. We've got the ethernet coming up in here. This is where the um, the MPG, the manual pulse generator, this guy here is plugged in uh, to a USB here. And this USB runs that speaker. Yeah, so I think that's it. I'm not sure what else to say about it. I mean, you can see here, it's nice and snappy when using the control, the DRO, everything reacts quickly. You can probably hear as soon as I rotate the wheel, you can hear the machine move. Um, I've got precisely zero complaints about this computer when using it uh, to run Centroid Acorn and a few complaints when using it to run SolidWorks, but that's not the intended purpose of this computer. But for a little garage computer, it's fantastic. You know, you're not going to be too paranoid about dust getting all over it or maybe it getting smashed up a little bit. It's a $150 computer. Heck, anything happens, you get another one and don't worry about it too much. So uh, I hope that helps and thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.